God is on the move in Gozo. God is on the move in Gozo. And some of you might think, ah, Gozo, does God really care? Yes, he does. He, call, he, he cares about everyone here on this island. And, uh, today, we went to the Mount Carmel uh, mental hospital. There, there is a young man there who I had met, I think, in 2010. And I have been trying to share the Lord with him. I have been trying to encourage him to follow Jesus, follow Jesus, follow Jesus. And um, he has been in touch with me on and off. So, it's nearly 12 years that he's been in touch with me because I started coming to Gozo since 2007 and uh, he was in the Gozo Mental Hospital I went to see him there you see one of the things that God wants us is to go Hallelujah. we can pray and we can get excited in the church but if you don't go there is no excitement it does not complete the work we need this Excitement. We need to be filled here. We need to be trained in the church. We need to be taught in the church. We need to be empowered in the church. But after that, what, my sister, what happens after we are we have done all this? What happens after that? What should happen? Maybe your new Christian, maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, you look like my sister-in-law, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my wife's sister. She's Hungarian. Very much. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, we need to be going out. Hallelujah. So this man has been telling me for the last many years that he's got a demon, a demon. A demon. Please come and help me. Please come and help me. So we went today to see him. And um, we started just praying for him. Then I told him, he received the Lord. Today, properly, he received the Lord. Took me 12 years. But today was the day. It was made for him. Hallelujah. And then the demon started manifesting. He said, Johnny, it's not working. The demon said to him. I said, okay. Then the demon said, I'm not going out. Then the demon said, what you are doing is like a joke. To be something authority in the name of Jesus. And then he repented and renounced his satanic pacts that he had made with Satan. Boom, the breakthrough came. He started repenting. He started renouncing. And the demon left him. He became free that very moment. He started expressing his feelings that I'm free, I feel good, I feel light. It's out, it's gone. Hallelujah. There are people waiting for you and for me. Are you and me going to go? It says here, so I will call upon your name. And keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, your soul will rest in your embrace. For I am yours and you are mine. Then look at this. Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. Hallelujah. Do you know what it means without borders? 
is absolutely trusting on God to use us to take us to places where we have never dreamt and thought of. Let me walk upon the waters. I mean, you guys can make a lot of sense out of this song because there are a lot of, there's a lot of water here. You are surrounded by sea. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whoever you would call me, wherever you would call me, take me deeper than my feet could never wander. Will this be your prayer today? If you pray this prayer, you're up for a miracle. You're up for a sign. You're up for a wonder. Wonder, sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. God is waiting for you and for me to step out. And if we step out, things will happen. But the problem with the church is we are not stepping out. We are comfortable in the four 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 corners of the church or the four pillars, whatever. Mark 16, verse 20. Mark 16, verse 20. Then the disciples went out. Yeah. Or you can translate just up as I read if you want to. Up to you. Mark 16 verse 20. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Then the disciples went out. And preached everywhere. And the Lord worked with them. And confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. Hallelujah. Do you want to live a life seeing miracles in your life? Yeah. Do you want to see God move through your life? Yeah. You want to see the unexpected done through your life? Then you are in the right place. And this is when just Jesus had given the commission, great commission. And if you read before this, the verses 19, 18, 17, 16, Jesus is giving a great commission. Go out. Preach the gospel. And the first thing he says is cast out demons. Casting out of demons is not at the end. And we Christians, we think it's for doing. It's for Duane to cast out demons. It's for Pastor Johnny. It's for Pastor Gordon. It's maybe for the worship leader. It's for all of you to cast out demons. And there are many in Gozo. There are many in Gozo. God gave me a prophetic dream, dream in 2008. That's why I've been coming to Gozo. I saw four big giants in the sea. And God gave me the interpretation of the dream and I asked him. And these giants were united so strong. And I had to swim underwater to get to them. If I had to swim in my dream and get to them, I would be killed. <laughs> and I asked the Lord, God, what is this that I need to go underwater to get to them? The Lord said to me, the way you do ministry in Gozo is going to be different from all the parts you have been to do ministry. Because Everywhere usually we say come to church, come to church. But God spoke to me and said you don't say come to church. You take the church out to the houses. You take church out to the beaches. You take the church out to the coffee shops. You take the church out, out, out. And as you go out, they will come in. That was the underground swimming. Or underwater swimming. Now I won't share with you the four giants who they were. I will share with probably the leadership. I will share with the leadership. And that became our, our motto to come here to pray for Gozo. Pray for Gozo against the giants that I saw. <laughs> and nearly 40 of my church members have been here to Gozo. We have prayed and prayed and fasted and done so much spiritual warfare for seven years for Gozo. Now you might think, oh, who cares about Gozo? God cares about Gozo. 
Who cares about the person in the mental hospital, the Gozitan? God cares about him. That's why he brought us from London that we could meet him today. And God even gave us somebody, a Christian from Pakistan who is working in the mental hospital. It's a Christian brother who will follow him up. Hallelujah. Sorry. <laughs> there is a Christian Pakistani brother in the mental hospital. And brother Christian Pakistan He's a Christian. Who are Christian? Yeah. And he will follow him up. Oh, I I follow you, I follow you, I give him a pastoral pastoral care. I tell you, I am to observe. When people get saved, it is important to look after them. Wallo, I met with him. I met him. He said, "Wow, I'm so happy to see you." Hallelujah. So we see here in Mark 16 verse 20. Now Mark 16 verse 16. There is an urgency by the disciples to go out and preach the gospel. They didn't wait for another week or another month to go out. Jesus gave the commission and they got excited and they put into action. So the question is, when did they go? As I said just now, they went straight away. Why did they go? Now many times you come to church because you know, probably Pastor Dwayne, Pastor Johnny is saying, oh, 